Today, I'm gonna to show you how to color tone video in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flearn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flearn.com, where we make learning fun. And in today's episode, we're gonna show you how to edit video in Photoshop. We're gonna be doing some color toning, which is incredibly cool. Now, I love this because you can use all your favorite tools and techniques that you love for photo editing in Photoshop and just apply those to video. Now, this is really great, especially when it comes to things like color toning or doing special effects on your video. Now, when you're editing like a longer feature, like let's say you're editing something that's gonna be 20 or 30 minutes long, I probably wouldn't do that in Photoshop. I would probably rely on a more powerful program that's specifically designed for video editing like Premiere. So again, if you guys are doing like a big edit, look for a different program. But for color toning, Photoshop is actually awesome. So in today's episode, we're gonna take some footage here and you can download this same footage on florin.com. Just follow the link on your screen right now. You can play around with it and do all kinds of really cool color toning in Photoshop. All right, so jumping into Photoshop, the first thing we're gonna do is just bring in our video file. Now, in this case, I've got an MP4 here. We're gonna click and drag this directly into Photoshop and it's gonna open up this up as a new document. Now, you guys can actually download this exact video on flurn.com. You just follow the link on your screen or in the description down below. So basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna load up our video. I'm gonna hit F for full screen so we can see our video here and it sticks the video in a video group. So you can see we have our layer one here in our video group. And then basically we have our timeline, which we can scrub through our video. And there we go. So if I just scroll from left to right, you can see here's my video playing beautifully in Photoshop. Now, if you don't see your timeline, no big deal. You can just go to window and down here to timeline and it's gonna show up. Now here in your timeline, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. In this case, we are using a clip that's actually two different camera angles combined. And this is from our Photography 101 shoot. It's just some nice like, nice footage that, you know, it's gonna look pretty good once we color grade this here. So basically we've got a couple different clips here and we can scrub through them. And this is really the only difference for editing video than editing photo uh, when you're working in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and start off by uh, brightening this up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out my video group and we're gonna make an adjustment layer and go to curves, and there we go. Now you can see over here, everything looks totally normal. We just have a curves adjustment layer, and here we have the curves in our video timeline. So I'm gonna click and drag this up, and that's just gonna make our image just a little bit brighter. Now, here's one thing that I love in Photoshop, is I can have this be visible only in the shadows or only in the highlights using a tool called Blend If. So let's go ahead and open up Blend If. This is incredibly cool, and it's really cool that we can do this with video. So I'm gonna double click here on my curves adjustment layer, just anywhere here in the gray area, and you're gonna get your layer style. I'm sure you've seen this before. Now, down here at the bottom where it says Blend If, I'm gonna choose my underlying layer here. See where it says underlying layer? I'm gonna, I don't want it to be visible where the underlying layer is brighter, okay? And basically the idea here is I'm saying, hey, I don't wanna make my brights any brighter. I only want to make the darks brighter. So I'm going to hold Alt or Option and click here and you can see that separates out those two little guys there. So click here and drag from the right to the left and you're going to see as I do this it's going to start to disappear from the highlights. Okay this is exactly what Blend If does. So let's hit OK there and we can see turning this off and on. Let me just go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So turning this off and on it's protecting our highlights. You can see right over here, it's not making the highlights any brighter at all. It's just making the shadows brighter. So if you did take a uh, little video that's a little underexposed, no big deal. You can just brighten up your shadows just like this. Now, in this case, we have our curves adjustment layer here. I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag this from left to the right. And we can see there's the kind of like the before and after on our footage. So if I just hit this play button here, there we go. You can literally see in time when the curves adjustment layer turns on, which is very, very cool. So with that, we did a little bit of brightening and we protected our highlights. Now let's go a little bit more creative. We can add some color into the shadows and the highlights of our image. And you can do this in a bunch of different ways. Basically any way that you want, like any way that you've learned how to color images in Photoshop, you can do the same thing coloring video. So the next thing I wanna do is just warm this image up a little bit. It's a little bit on the cool side and I wanna show you a couple different ways you can do this. So I'm gonna grab an adjustment layer here. We're gonna to go to solid color and I'm gonna just choose like a nice warm, like bright orange. Don't worry if you don't get the right color to start, it's not a big deal. 
Now I'm going to change this layer blend mode from normal down to soft light and we can see, yep, it made our image warm, but it looks totally weird. That's not really a big deal because we can just double click right here on our color and we can change this at any point in time. So let's make this just a little bit redder and you know, it's a little bit on the saturated side. I'm just going to move to the left and kind of desaturate that a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty good there. Okay, so turning that off and on, we can see now we've added some color tone to our image. And you can do the same thing with a curves adjustment layer. So let's move in here just a little bit more. I'm staggering these so we can kind of see our before and after here. So let's go to a curves adjustment layer here. All right, I'm gonna choose my red channel. We're gonna bring that up just a little bit. There we go. And now my blue channel, I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit and that's gonna, you can see it's gonna continue to warm our image. All right. Now our green channel, I'm going to move that down a little bit too, and that's going to put a little bit of magenta into our image there. All right, so I can turn that off and on. Now I'm not saying that this is like the perfect color tone for my video, but what is really nice is I can see that as I scrub through my video, this is the original, then we have our first curves adjustment layer, then the color fill layer that's just set to soft light, and then the next curves adjustment layer. And by the time it gets to here, you can see that Basically, anytime you have this like purple showing up, let's just extend that all the way to the end there. Anytime you have this purple showing up there, that's basically telling you, hey, these layers are visible. All right, so we can see when we started our footage here, it looked like this, and here it's looking like this, a little bit on the warm side. Now, you can most definitely change these settings at any time. Like for instance, this layer, if you're like, you know what, it looks good, it's just too saturated. So we're just gonna bring down the opacity just a little bit. You know, this layer, nice bit of warming, but it's too much. I wanna bring down the opacity of that a little bit too. All right, so this is looking really cool. We got one more tip for you. I'm gonna show you how to add color into the shadows of your videos. So jumping back in here, let's go back to where we saw, there we go, beautiful. I'm gonna create another solid color fill layer. And again, there are many different ways to color in Photoshop. So let's go to a solid color here. Okay, and I'm gonna choose like a bright blue just to kind of get us started here. Now, on my layer blend mode here, I'm gonna choose lighten. Okay, and what lighten does is basically anything that's lighter than this color is gonna show up, and anything that's darker than this color is just gonna turn into this color. And I'm gonna work on my opacity just a little bit. We're just gonna lower that opacity. Now, this obviously doesn't look that great, but to change this color, super easy to do. Simply double click there, and you can change your color at any point in time. So let me just make my color a little bit darker here. There we go. And here we're getting like a really cool like vintage style to our photo. So just making our color darker, like literally if I make my color bright and saturated, it looks like that. I can make it less saturated and I can bring it darker. And keep in mind, the reason this is working so well is because we have this on a lighten blend mode. So it's only gonna color the shadows. Now I like this blue, but if you wanted this to be magenta, you could do that. Let me just zoom in here a little bit so you can really see how this affects the shadows here. So if we wanted green in the shadows, we could have that, yellow in the shadows. These are a bit too strong, you know, but the blue I think does work pretty well. And typically uh, blue and yellow, blue and orange tends to look pretty good. So there we go. All right, just a little bit of blue in there and we can see set to that light and blend mode just pops that blue in the shadows and here we have a pretty cool color toned image. I mean, this is definitely not like, you know, quote unquote, true to life, but as far as like an artistic uh, video goes, um, I, I like this color, I think it looks really nice. So here we have our up close, there we go. And here we have our video from a little bit farther away. So let's go ahead and make our timeline a little bit larger here. There we go. And you can see basically here is what the video footage looks like before any color toning. And here's what it looks like after. And keep in mind, again, you can change this at any point in time. Now let's say we do have a little cut here from one clip to another one, right? We have that little cut right there. So let's say I wanted to change some of the values. Well, basically I would just click and drag this color fill adjustment layer to end where my first clip ends, okay? And then I can duplicate that layer there we go. And I'm gonna have this start where my first clip ends. So let's just click and drag that right there. Okay. Now it's the same exact settings here, but in this case, I'm just gonna lower the opacity of that. Cause I'm like, you know what? In this scene, I like the blue in there, but it's, uh, it's a bit too strong. It's too much blue. 
So here we go. While we're in this scene, we got a decent bit of blue coming into the shadows. And then as soon as we pop over, we have just a little bit less blue in the shadows. Now you can also ramp these effects up if you'd like. And again, here's where we're starting. So I'm gonna just add a little transition to our curves adjustment layer. So let's go to our transitions here. I'm gonna go to fade and just click and drag that right on the curves adjustment layer. And then check this out. It's gonna ramp up in brightness. It's basically fading in. Let's bring that forward just a little bit more. It's basically fading in that curves adjustment layer. So for instance, if, uh, if you're working with some footage and it gets darker, you can just put a gradual fade and make it lighter and basically counteract any dark footage that you got there. All right, so that looks pretty cool. Now I'm just gonna undo that. Uh, I don't really need that fade on there. I'm gonna put all this back to the very beginning and we're just gonna take a look at our clip. All right, let's bring all that back to the very beginning. So basically these, this, uh, this curves adjustment layer, the color fill and this curves, they're gonna be visible throughout the entire clip. And then we got this one, which is at 71% opacity. It's visible in the first part of the clip, okay? And then this one, which is at 36% opacity, that's visible in our second. You know what, and while I'm here, this is very, it's non-destructive editing. I'm just gonna lower the opacity to 71. Well, let's go down to 60. Just make it a little bit more subtle. All right. There we go. So at any point in time, I can go in here and turn these off. So basically that's my before and that's my after. All right guys, well that's basically how we color tone video in Photoshop. You can see it's incredibly cool. We use all the same tools that we love for photo editing in our video editing. Now let's go ahead and show you guys how to export this out so you can see what it actually looks like and you can get the same export qualities that you can get from a regular video editor. So to render our video, simply go to file and down to export and over here to render video. Okay, so here you can give it a look. I'm just gonna give it a little underscore here and call this color tone. There we go, so I know that this bit of footage has been color, color toned. You can select your folder here. Now I do suggest selecting Adobe Media Encoder and I suggest clicking on H.264. This is a really great format for uploading to the web and you wanna go ahead and choose your document size. In this case, we're at 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p. It's gonna pull your frame rate and everything else from your video itself, and everything else looks really great. So all I have to do is hit this render button, and it's gonna export our video out with these color tone settings applied. Okay, so we just exported. Let's go ahead and find it on the desktop. I'm gonna hit the space bar to play this, and here we can see our video footage that's been beautifully color toned in Photoshop. Okay guys, that's all there is to color grading your video in Photoshop. Now, if you wanna play around with the video I used in this episode, simply click on your screen right now or go in the description right down below. You can download this on flurn.com. So here around the studio, we actually use Premiere to edit our videos, but what is your favorite video editing program? Let us know in a comment right down below. Thanks so much guys, I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone. I am like sweating. It is so hot in here. Look at that, just stuck to my forehead. That's how sweaty I am. Shout out to whoever invented these little guys. They make you look pretty even when you're sweating. Bang, bang, bing, bang.